for a series of foam, roaring cascades of water, jumbled up with over 4,000 hippos, a profusion of Nile crocs, and an abundance of bird life on just a stretch of a river. Welcome to the unique and breathtaking natural exhibition of Inside Uganda. The largest, electrifying and probably one of the most exciting scenic spots of its kind in East Africa, Murchison Falls National Park. Spreading inland from the shores of Lake Albert around the Victoria Nile, the park is situated in northwestern Uganda, covering an area of about 3,900 square kilometers and universally regarded as one of Africa's most compelling and the largest protected national parks on the continent. Briefly known as Kabalego Falls National Park in the early 1970s, named after the King of Bunyoro, famous for resisting attempts to colonize his kingdom, the park offers some of the most impressive scenery in the country and can be accessed by both road and air. We finally arrived at Red Chili Rest Camp. This will be the base for our expedition. You'll surely experience a generous welcome from the staff, flattered by the surroundings as the birds whisper. The hospitable looking warthogs and Uganda cob are a must see immediately you pull up to the rest camp. Warthogs are members of the same family as domestic pigs, but present a much different appearance. They are very adaptable animals and can go long periods without water. The park also boasts of great value accommodations, including Para Safari Lodge, Nile Safari Camp, Sambia River Lodge, and Para Rest Camp, among others. All offering excellent services, and while here, a great morning is guaranteed. Attaining its name from the core, the Greater Murchison Falls, the waterfalls, 43 meters high is at all times referred to as the most electrifying site of its kind in East Africa. About 45 years ago, it's believed that waters of the Nile were forced through a narrow gap in the rocks to fall through a series of forming roaring cascades down a drop of about 50 meters creating one of the world's most spectacular waterfalls, only of its kind in the world. Eagerness sharpens by the awesome experience, we are then geared up to take on a 17-kilometer trip to venture out on the legendary River Nile. Daily launch trips from Para to the falls are always on hand, or special trips can be arranged from all surrounding accommodations offering the opportunity to see a profusion of wildlife, including the elusive and bizarre shoebill, a bird species that dates back to Godzilla times. If you've spent the night south of the river, getting to the northern bank will require you to cross by ferry or boat cruise at a fairly cheap charge. Early mornings are unquestionably the best time to see and photograph the abundance of animal species here. As the launch captain steers from shore to shore, we are treated to striking sceneries at the shoreline, giving way to high cliffs with at most a 
amazing rock formation. The abundance of flakes and chippings along the eroded banks of the river suggests that these may have been places where African traditional tools were made from rather than actual settlements. While on a cruise, you are guaranteed to spot a colossal of hippos. There are reportedly about 4,000 hippopotamuses along the stretch of a river. And these massive creatures spend about 16 hours submerged in the famous Nile waters here whilst providing a fabulous scenic spot to visitors. Hosting one of Africa's densest hippo and crocodile populations, the Nile River is famous in all corners of the world. Named after the river, Nile crocodiles are designed to live among the most vicious animals on the planet. This uniquely designed killer will plot its hunting behavior to match a specific prey. A Nile croc will attack its prey with lightning speed and can kill animals as heavy as a wildebeest. Crocodiles have a palatial flap, a rigid tissue at the back of the mouth that blocks entry of unwanted water during its hunt. Just like dinosaurs, crocodiles are among the more biologically complex reptiles despite their prehistoric looks. And like other reptiles, crocodiles incorporate muscles used for aquatic locomotion into respiration and their external morphology on the other hand is a sign of their aquatic and predatory lifestyle. Its physical traits allow it to be a successful predator as it retains a streamlined body that enables it to swim swiftly. Our expedition continues and we head for game viewing. We are recommended to head north of the park. The Nile Valley is one of the hottest places in Uganda and animals tend to look for shades to cool off the heat. Although uncomforting to the animals, it's during this very time we get the chance to see the dog-faced animals. In groups consisting of six to seven males and approximately twice as many females plus their young ones, the human-loving apes appear. Research has it that of all the ground-dwelling primates, olive baboons most frequently interact well with human beings. It is believed that baboons are the most adaptable of the wild animals in East Africa. Due to general motherhood, a female baboon will carry its newborn next to her stomach as she travels. Until the young one is five to six weeks old, it will keep riding on her mother's back. And an infant baboon will stay in very close contact with its mother. In a few months, the young star will ride jockey style, sitting upright. And between four to six months, he will begin to spend most of his time amongst other juveniles. Still on the game drive, be sure to catch a glimpse of numerous Rothschild giraffes. Known for walking swiftly, giraffes are believed to be the tallest animals on land. Though quite shy from visitors, this peaceful mammal appears to be in plenty here. A fully grown giraffe ranges from 4.25 to 5.5 meters high, which is about 14 to 18 feet. Giraffes are also known as selective browsers that prefer new growth foliage of acacia, mimosa brush and combretum trees 2 to 5 meters or 6.6 .6 to 16.5 feet high. Bonus to its 27-inch tongue, a giraffe is able to grasp leaves from tall trees and feed on shoots and leaves of 100 plus plant species. Although regarded as the tallest living creature on earth, a giraffe has the same number of cervical vertebra similar to that of humans. These peaceful looking animals sleep for not more than 5 to 30 minutes, making it possible for the male giraffe to eat up to 100 pounds in a single day. And it's true that a giraffe rarely lies down. A giraffe will sleep as well as give birth while standing and its calf is one of the animals that are born already with a horn on their head. The average lifespan of a giraffe is 20 to 25 years and its age is calculated by its spots. The darker the spots, the older the giraffe.
Among other animals encountered here include heart beasts, which are believed to be some of the most sedentary antelopes, but usually move around in larger groups during drought season in search of water and better grazing, making it hard for predators to isolate an individual prey. Specifically in Murchison Falls National Park, the number of cobs, impala and water butts have doubled or perhaps even tripled in recent years. Three of the so-called Big Five family shared amongst buffaloes, elephants, lions, leopards and rhinos no longer exist here in Murchison Falls due to local poaching extinction. The recent aerial census indicates that at least the elephant population has risen to roughly 1,100 in herds of several hundreds, occasionally observed north of the Nile. The African and Asian elephants are the only two surviving species of what was in prehistoric times a diverse and populous group of large mammals. Scientists dating archaeological sites of prehistoric man say the African elephant is the largest living mammal on land and one of the most impressive animals on planet Earth. Of all its features, the muscular trunk of an elephant is the most remarkable as it serves as a nose, a hand, an extra foot, a signaling device and a tool for gathering food, siphoning water, dusting, digging and a variety of other functions. These extremely large mammals have no canine teeth. They possess elongated incisors and about one third of their total length lies hidden inside the skull. Although the elephant's remaining teeth do not attract the ivory poacher, scientists believe they are nonetheless interesting as they ultimately determine the natural lifespan of an elephant. The African, or Cape Buffalo, is also a member of the so-called Big Five. Our guide tells us that Buffalo's population here, based on partial counts, is estimated at 8,200, an increase of 50% in 1999. These heavy and cow-like animals vary greatly, not only in size, but in the shapes of their horns and color. Adult buffaloes are usually dark gray or black and habitually lose hair as they age. They live in herds of a few hundreds and older bulls often prefer to be on their own. I really enjoyed this trip. It's really fantastic to see well, the waterfall at the end was very beautiful and all the nice birds and the hippos, loads of hippos and I really enjoyed myself. I was like boat rides anyway. Fantastic. I never saw such a a uh, number of, of hippos and crocodiles in this mass and it, I like it very much and I, I didn't expect it uh, at, at the beginning. Yeah. Northwestern Uganda is one of the most impressive sites of its type in East Africa and the thrilling array of wildlife makes it one of the most rewarding zoological destinations, an experience that everyone should endeavor to encounter in a lifetime. See you for our next destination.